Odd and Even Numbers, Lesson 3.12 We can group numbers as even or odd. If we can make pairs with none left over, the number is even. If there is a leftover, it is odd. Here I've got numbers 1 through 10. You can see how they take turns being odd and even. It's almost like if we skip count by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, those are the even numbers. One, three, five, seven, and nine are odd numbers. That's an odd number. There's only one. That's an even number. There's two. We can make a pair. 1, 2, 3, that's an odd number. We can make one pair and there's one left over, so it's odd. 1, 2, 3, 4, we can make a pair. We can make another pair and there's none left over, so it's even. If there's a leftover, the umber, number is odd. If we can make pairs with none left over, the number is even. We can circle pairs, write the number in all, and circle, odd or even. Here we have three pink circles. We can make a pair, but we have one left over. There's three here, and because there's one left over, it's odd. Let's count the dots. How many purple dots are there? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Is it odd or even? Is six odd or even? Well, we can make pairs, three pairs, with none left over, so it's even. How many little green dots do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 10. We can make pairs. There's none left over, so it's even. How about now? Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll make pairs. We have one left over, so that means it's odd. How about now? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's make pairs. We have one left over. So 13 is odd. Let's try this one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll make pairs. There's none left over, so it's even. Now, did you notice something about these? We can just look and see if there's one by itself, it's going to have a leftover. See how these at the end didn't have one by itself? This one did, and this one did. We couldn't make pairs, so they were odd. Let's try these. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. Let's make pairs. We have one left over, so it's odd. How about now? There's one, two, three, four. We can make pairs. There's none left over, so it's even. How about this one? 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can make pairs. There's none left over, so it's even. If we can make pairs with none left over, the number is even. If the number has a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place, it is even. It will have none left over. Is 23 even or odd? Do you see that one all by itself? That means if we circle all these pairs, there's going to be one left over, so it must be odd, right? And it ends in a three. It's got a three in the ones place. So that means it's not even, because there's a three in the ones place. Is 32 even or odd? Hmm, this one's a little harder because now we have two here. We can make pairs, lots of them, right? We can make lots of pairs. We can make a pair here, and a pair here, and a pair here. Look, we have none left over. And you know what? There's a two in the ones place. If the number has a two in the ones place, it's even. We had none left over, and there's a two in the ones place. It's even. Is 18 even or odd? 18 has 8 in the ones place. If the number has a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place, it's even. It will have none left over. So 18 is even. It's got an 8 in the ones place. Is 81 even or odd? 81 has a 1 in the ones place. If the number has a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in the ones place, it's even. Well, 81 has a 1 in the ones place. That's not a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So 81 is odd. All numbers, every one of them, is either an even number or an odd number. We can tell if it's an even number if we count them and they make pairs with none left over. If it has a leftover, then we know it's odd. I'll see you next video. Bye.